So Railgarm D, we back at it again. Um, I know we've been asleep for a little bit. Um, kind of sleeping on the channel a little bit. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, life's picking up. Life's picking up. A lot of stuff going on. Managing a lot of different things. <laughs> doing a lot of biopsies. Spent yesterday doing a lot of biopsies. Uh, something to keep in mind in IR. Sometimes we're doing a lot of biopsies. You know, sometimes we're doing arterial work. Sometimes venous work. Sometimes oncology. Sometimes ports and venous access, but sometimes a lot of biopsies, and that's just just how it goes. Nothing wrong with a with a difficult biopsy. Um, you know, the game doesn't change. You know, I remember um, ten years ago we was in the hole, several hundred thousand, uh, working hard, hustling, trying to get to the next stage. Uh, that does not change. Um, same thing. Now I'm almost thirty five, uh, hustling hard, trying to get to the next stage. Uh, still working hard. Still. Um, you know, cranking RVUs, because that's what it is. Um, Andrew Yang, I read something he said about how doctors are, are uh, you know, highly paid uh, machine workers. In some sense, that is true. Didn't agree with everything he said, but um, that part is kind of true. We are, you know, cogs in the system. We're basically cranking, and uh, we're highly paid cranks. We're um, intelligent cranks, because the stuff we do is not straightforward it does take some um intelligence to discern you know, what it is that we're doing and to do it safely and we are working on the body which is obviously the most uh, uh most precious of all things we have but um still we are basically a, a, an assembly line worker you know we're putting things together uh, creating a product every day creating widgets uh, again nothing wrong with that just something to keep in mind other fields you go into tech you go into finance you get that big payoff, uh, you could probably retire. Uh, doctors don't do that. <laughs> if you notice, doctors never retire. Doctors work hard to the end. Uh, last year I was working with a doctor doing interventional work. I think he was in his 80s. Um, it's that concept of die hard. Um, they, doctors just do not go soft. They die hard. They go hard right to the end. And uh, there is a market for doctors. There's a market for physicians. You could be in your 80s. You can still find work out here. There's a lot of work to do out here. Um, trying to uh, get into the next stage, you know. Uh, blew a lot of money on, on cars, realizing that's not the way to go. Real estate, again, I'm not saying everybody should get into real estate. Not everybody should buy a house, but that's something to, to get into because um, you buy property, there is, there is intrinsic value in that i mean you can live in that and uh if you buy it in the right area theoretically the continued interest in that area should lead to uh increase in price over time and that's something you do want to buy into if you can if you can't then don't um and if you're not sure where you want to be then i think renting is fine and i've certainly uh my wife and i've done a lot of renting over time i don't think of rent as throwing away money I think of it as exploring. Um, you're paying a cost to uh, try something out. And uh, experience is valuable. You know, the more experience you have, uh, the more trouble you get into, uh, the more valuable uh, you are uh, for the future, the more, more valuable your uh, thought processes become. So nothing wrong with uh, trying things out, renting for a bit, making a couple mistakes, learning and proceeding from there. Um, don't be don't be afraid to make a couple mistakes and, and mess up a little bit. You gotta play the game. You gotta get burned in order to learn. You know, it took me getting burned and joining a failing private practice to understand what private practice radiology is. Nothing wrong with it, honestly. I have nothing against it. Other, uh, I have nothing against it other than I've learned a lot from it, and it's actually got a lot of respect for people that do it. Personally, I prefer to be employed right now, but you know, that could change. Who knows? Um, get out there, play the game, lose a couple, learn, and uh, get out and keep going. And like I'm saying, you know, <clears throat> just as I was hustling 10 years ago, I'm hustling now. In fact, I would say I'm hustling even harder. And uh, that's another thing, just keep in mind for these young kids, you know. Don't think of medicine as the end, it's just the beginning. Once you get into it, once you get rolling, um, it's uh you got to keep climbing keep climbing up the hill so that's what i'm about to do right now it's real going to be